How's it going everybody? My name is Austin and welcome to the Power Stoked YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join the Power Stoked Nation today. We got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I drive a purple Power Stroke. If you guys did not know, uh, I've wrapped it purple and that's actually going to be the topic of today's video. So finally, without further ado, without putting it off, finally making time, it's time to wrap this ugly white tailgate. It's been this way since I wrapped it and I wrapped it in May. So normally I would just take the tailgate off on the weekends, but it's just, you know what, it's time. It's time to wrap the tailgate. I have several different reasons why I haven't wrapped the tailgate on the truck yet. So number one being, I didn't know if I wanted to upgrade tailgates to do the 2008 style, but I've noticed a lot of people around here, especially where I live, a lot of them are already doing that and I didn't want to follow what they're doing. Plus, I just, uh, I haven't made time for it. And I don't know if I have enough material. So I am, I think it's like three or four inches short. So I'm gonna see if I can make this material stretch that much. I highly doubt it. I mean, I have no, I don't even think it'll be able to do it, but I'm gonna give it a shot just to see. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to spend $60 on a whole little roll just to do the tailgate. I mean, which is worth it, I need to do it because this is terrible. I, uh, I'm honestly super embarrassed to drive around with the uh, white tailgate and my fiance hates, hates riding in it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with wrapping the tailgate. We're gonna take off the handle here. So this has to come off super easy. I already have the back of the tailgate. Yeah, and this is another reason why I kind of wanted to upgrade tailgates. My handle's kind of sticky. But anyways, you take off these two bolts here and then the handle just pretty much falls out. So you're done with that part and then you guys know how to take a tailgate out. You pull those little hooks, pull the tailgate off. I think I'm just gonna lay it on the bed and try to wrap it in the bed of the truck instead of getting saw horses out and that whole big deal. All right, and then once the tailgate is wrapped, I'm gonna try to wash the truck. Depends on how hot it is and uh, how I'm feeling because the tailgate's gonna be the cleanest part of the truck. I mean, this thing's filthy. This is after driving to a job site once this week. I mean, it is just caked, caked in dust. But washing a truck in super heat and direct sun is not a very good idea because your soap will just basically dry onto your, uh, well, onto the wrap and onto your windows and it just won't look good. It won't clean properly and uh, it'll just basically evaporate off. Um, the water will evaporate, leave hard water spots and leave soap spots on your paint or on your wrap and your windows and it just does not look good and it's hard to get off. So without further ado, no more excuses. Let's get this tailgate done. All right, so now that we have the tailgate off of the truck, we are going to wash it because this is absolutely filthy and the wrap will not adhere to this. You wanna make sure it's as clean as possible. I'm just gonna use some soap, maybe some rubbing alcohol to make sure there's absolutely nothing on here and that it's as clean as possible. And then we'll go ahead and we will wrap the whole tailgate. I'll show you guys how that works and how I did it for the rest of the truck. Okay, so here's the tailgate all clean, believe it or not, it's just that beat up. I mean, the owners before me had dogs and they would, you know, stand on the tailgate and their claws would slide down. It's just an old beaten up tailgate, it's old. I'm not too worried about it. I know it's not gonna be super nice to wrap. You're gonna have all these little dents and dings showing through, but it'll be at least one solid color. You won't have all these little scratches and gouges and stuff. It'll all just be one solid color. So that's what I'm mainly doing it for. Like I said, the whole truck has dents and dings. I mean. It's got plenty of character and the uh, wrap obviously shows it, but you know, it's absolutely worth it. The whole purple one color, it's super nice, gets a lot of looks and I honestly, I really am happy with it. I love having a unique truck and uh, it's just, it's super exciting and I'm easily recognizable, which I really do enjoy. Okay, so here comes the hard part. So now, I like I said, I have just enough wrap that I think it's about three or four inches short. I think it stopped right here. When I got back, I was going to do it and then ended up not when I when I got back from wrapping the truck, I ended up holding that sheet out with my fiance and she was like, hey, you're a couple inches short on that. And I was like, well, crap. And I didn't feel like dealing with that day. I was like, I'll do it. I'll do it next weekend. And it's been three months. So now I'm definitely going to ab I'm going to do it. And I think with the heat of today, with the wrap being warm, I'm going to heat it up with a heat gun. I think I can get that stretch out of it because this stuff is super, super stretchy. I mean, the mirrors, how I did that. Cause all I did was heat that stuff up and just pull it over the mirror and it contoured to the shape and everything. So I think I can get it with the stretch. But 
we're gonna see and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out i just need to order another little bit of a roll so enough talking and blah 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 blah. let's go ahead and get it on with wrapping the truck oh well it's already wrapped let's get on with wrapping the tailgate and make it one nice solid color so i know it sounds super silly with how hot it is out today that i would be using my heat gun but it's going to give me a little extra direct heat so that way i can pinpoint certain locations that are going to be very difficult for me um, I also have my whole wrapping kit out. I got my six magnets. Heck no, I'm not going to use all of those magnets. I'll probably use two if I use any. And then I have my little squeegees, uh, my razors. I don't think I ever showed you guys. So these are just the little cheapy snap away razors. This is what I use to wrap the truck. Um, the magnets were the biggest help if I'm being 100% honest. They would hold up the sections of wrap that I couldn't get to because there was only me. And if you watch that video again, you should be able to see them in several locations where I have these magnets set. And then obviously we have our squeegees. I got, I think I got two or three in here. So that will make it a lot easier to smooth out this wrap. You wanna make sure you have the felt because this will scratch pretty bad. And if you push too hard with the felt, it'll even scratch the wrap. So it's very delicate stuff, but it, it doesn't need a lot of pressure to actually adhere to the truck. Um, it is pressure sensitive, but you don't need to like force it on there. It's pretty, you can smooth it out pretty gently and it'll work just the same. So I'm gonna get the vinyl out, set it on here, show you guys how short it is, and we're gonna try to stretch it out to make it work for this tailgate. Otherwise, it's a $60 tailgate, and uh, you know that's still cheaper than $700. So as you can see, this is how short I am on wrap. I'm about six inches because this roll is five feet wide. Tailgate apparently is five foot five. So this will be somewhat of a challenge. It's gonna be kind of exciting because I'm gonna really test my skill and really test the wrap to see if you can make it stretch this much. Um, and it'll give you guys kind of a perspective on how this stuff works and it's it's it'll be exciting It'll be a good challenge. And like I said, if it doesn't end up working out, it doesn't end up working out It's still sixty dollars versus seven hundred and uh, I'll take it. All right guys slight change of plan So the tailgate was up in the bed of the truck as you guys saw But that was way too difficult to try to wrap it because it's just it's so tight of a space I can't reach all the way around um, So I moved it here onto the ground on top of the wrap box absolutely perfect for it. Uh, it's It'll work out pretty well. Plus it's in the shade. It was a little hot and uncomfortable out there in the sun. So just wanted to give you guys a reason why the uh, scene was gonna change and here we go. All right, so now that I have the piece, what is called glassed onto the panel itself, you can see we're still a little bit short. So I'm gonna hit it with a heat gun. We're gonna heat it up really hot. We're gonna try to get it to stretch a lot more, but it's pretty close and I think it'll work. So uh, here's hoping you guys. Wow, it's hot out here. So pardon the sweatiness, but the tailgate is wrapped. I have to do all of the trimming still, but that's super easy. Um, basically, okay, so here's how you wrap a tailgate. I know I just kind of did a quick montage, didn't really show you guys. And I noticed my camera didn't record a lot of the times that I would click the button. It's been kind of acting up a little bit lately. But, so basically what you do is you glass it out, you lay it across, as you guys saw me do, I stretched it out. Um, and then you kind of work it onto a body line. You want to make sure you have spots for air to escape. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of bubbles in the middle. So what I did for this body line, as you guys probably saw, is I would lift up this ledge, push all the air into this channel, and then use this channel to kind of scrape the air out of this little short spot. Air is the biggest issue when it comes to vinyl. Is I mean, it causes the bubbles and everything that you do not want because that's the stuff that will cause wrinkles and people will see that and be like, eh, it's not a very good job. So always make sure you have a spot for air to escape. It's pretty, pretty easy, but pretty easily overlooked. And especially if you're a little frustrated with how long it's taking to wrap something, you just kind of want to rush through. I promise if you take your time and make sure that the air has a spot to escape, you'll have a great product. So I now have this all smoothed out. I got the handle smoothed out. I got to cut that out so I can put my handle actually back in. I have the oval smoothed back out. 
these little wrinkles here don't really matter because the emblem will go over that that's why i'm not sweating it so bad and there's no wrinkles throughout the body as you guys can see it's just in the oval there and then here's my little holes my set holes for my f-250 badge which is painted black just like these now the ford badge i left blue i will probably buy an aftermarket one eventually um but i just wanted to put that back on just so i had it if i painted it over black it wouldn't look very good just look kind of cheesy now i'm going to do all the cutting out of everything well okay cutting out of the one handle and then i'll put the cap back on and we're done with the tailgate you guys it's uh it's wrapped Well, that was kind of silly of me. <laughs> oh my. Oh, hang on. There we go. Mic's flipped back around. Well, I hope the mic still works. I uh, was too focused on what I was doing and didn't even pay attention to the GoPro set on the bed. It kind of fell off. So uh, sorry about dropping you guys. We're getting the last cap put on here and then uh, I'll be trying to find my badges wherever they're sitting. Ooh, messed up the whole. Wow. All right, you guys, after about an hour and a half, we finally have the tailgate all wrapped, put back on the truck, handle mounted in. And uh, I don't have the Ford badge on. I actually stuck it on there and I didn't even think about it. The chrome on here does not match anything anymore. This chrome bumper eventually is going to go away and it's going to be a wrapped uh, roll pan. Eventually this bumper is actually going to go away and be replaced with a roll pan that will be color matched. So to have the chrome on the back won't match anymore. So I think I'm going to try to figure something out. Maybe use some of the vinyl I have and get creative. Maybe uh, see if I can get a Power Stoke logo that's small. All right, so now that we have the tailgate wrapped, I'm gonna finish this week's video tomorrow because I'm gonna wash the truck and have a few more surprises that I'm very excited to share with you guys. And I think you guys will be very, very excited. One eternity later. All right, you guys, this is day two of the video. So it's actually been three days since I recorded that last part. It was a very busy weekend. Went to Cars and Coffee on Saturday morning with Brent. That was a lot of fun. That'll be actually this Saturday's video. So if you guys wanna check that out, be looking out for that. There were some trucks there, but it was mainly focused forecast <laughs> it was mainly focused on Porsches but there was some cool stuff some supercars and some really nice trucks I'm planning on taking my truck up there on a non-designated like vehicle day unless there's a truck day then I'll absolutely be making sure I go up there so that you guys get to see some of the cool trucks that are around here um, but that also brings me to a point that I kind of want to start truck meets because I want to have something like that um, locally it kind of gets shut down every time or just nobody really makes it happen so I'm gonna make it happen but anyways that's not the point of this video so I have a very exciting announcement, but I need to do something first. You may be wondering why I'm sitting here. I got to put something on this rear window and then I got a major announcement for you guys. All right, you guys, as you can see, there is a Casey Turbo's decal now on the truck, which means something very exciting. So, so I talked to you guys earlier, uh, a couple videos ago, Casey Turbo's and I have been back and forth. And uh, the awesome people over there have decided to sponsor me and my build. So thank you guys so much for the huge, huge opportunity you guys have given me to rep your product, talk about your product, and run it. Because I am going to be drag racing my truck. I just want to get some power behind it first before I go take it to the strip and get totally annihilated and embarrassed in a stock 7.3 that's just chipped. So I have a new KC300X Turbo on the way. Uh, very, very excited and I cannot wait to share that with you guys, open the box, get it installed in the truck, and uh, really see how it feels compared to the stock turbo. Uh, I will be doing a very extensive video on the turbo itself, uh, multiple videos with that. So that'll be a lot of fun. So thank you guys over at Casey Turbos for sponsoring this. All right, you guys, so not only did they decide to hook me up, they're going to hook you guys up as well. So if you go over to their website and use promo code POWERSTOKE, you get 5% off of your purchase of any KC product. So please, get, definitely go check that out. Go to their website, buy some stuff, use the code. I want you guys, I wanted to give you guys something in return for how well you guys treat me. You guys deserve something too. So please go use that code. Let me know if you buy something. I like, I like hearing that kind of stuff. So please let me know if you guys buy something over there. And uh, yeah, so there you go, 5% off code power stoked it'll all be down in the description below and with that i want to say thank you all so much for watching thank you so much for everything you guys have done for me because none of this would have been possible without you guys i mean turbo sponsor i mean everything this whole build wrapping the truck none of this would have happened without you guys so thank you all so much for watching 
every single view, every single like, every single comment. I appreciate so much and I just, I love it. This has been so much fun. Thank you for being a part of this whole journey. So hit that subscribe button down below. If you already haven't subscribed, hit that notification bell. You guys wanna make sure you never miss a video. We got a lot of fun stuff coming up, especially with the turbo on the way. Uh, there's also going to be an SMB intake on the way. So please hit that notification bell, watch every video. Hit that notification bell, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button down below, leave a comment. I always reply. As you guys know, I really, really appreciate you guys. So thank you all. I will see you guys in the next video.